Anyway, yeah, yeah. Used sometimes. to be. Uh, um, now, more fighting. Boxing. Yep. Um, SOG, son. The <laughs> Super yeah, son. Six World Boxing Classic finally came. What, motherfucker? As the sons of God, shouty. I got right. I got a tattooed on my leg. Andre Ward, son of God, met <laughs> Carl Frotch. The now, Cobra. The Cobra. Now, now, SOG is what they call him, but Carl Frotch's people got in the habit of calling uh, him SOB. T- time out. Okay. As my man in Florida said, or, or likes my saying, and as he's headed over to England, pump your brakes, because I got some question. You just got some question. Did you by chance see the difference in odds for this fight? Andre Ward was a heavily favored here in the U.S., yeah, that was... but for some reason you crossed the pond, and Carl Frotch was a heavy favorite over in Three England. Three to one over in, in, in How Britain. can you have that? Are you telling me they, they fucking literally view boxing like this? Yeah, he was a three to one. I favorite. think they just really want their. I, I hate to say this, but oh, oh, you know, yeah. that makes no sense. No, Let me tell was, you something. I was Andre Ward, like I said when I talked about the other day, is is the best. He went through everybody, including Carl Frotch tonight, easily. Yes, in the super- he, yeah, he proved to himself. To, I mean, to the world that I am the best 168. He didn't lose a fight in, in this the world. No. in this tournament, and he won all the fights pretty easily. Yeah, in my opinion. Um, yeah, especially this championship yeah, fight. Oh. Yeah, he's, and, he um, dominated. I mean, I can't believe I saw on I think one of the cards or something that somebody you know that I guess they were ringside scores. They weren't official judges. Had a mm-hmm. 116, 116. Are you kidding me? No. Yeah. I it mean, was, it, come on. He, he just. I, I thought Dude, he. The last round, he was basically laughing at Frotch. Yeah. Like yeah. the and last Frotch, 45 seconds of the fight, he was just talking to him. <laughs> <laughs> he, t- you know, Frotch is funny because it's like, sp- speaking of monkeys, and I'm Gr- sure. girlfriend uh, is hot. Carl Frotch. Yeah, I was gonna say that's the best. That's I, will the best watch, looking. I will watch Carl Frotch fight a sea bass if his girlfriend's that, gonna that's come. The, Everybody, that's let me tell you thing. the best looking Good thing about Carl Frotch is that is I, I don't I think it was his, his wife, wife actually. Oh. His yeah. wife showed well, up. She's a, she's a looker, man. Yeah, Geo. Um, he had the reach advantage, and and mm. Andre Ward said from the beginning, said, I need to get on the inside and fight the inside. I mean, Andre Ward usually established a jab. He's a great boxer, and but he was like, I've got to get on the inside and punish this And guy. I'm going to tell you and right now, the, the referee for this, could, Ward couldn't have had a better ref. Right. Because when they got inside, the ref was like, you need to punch out of it. Like, yeah. And he just he, – And I, mean, I love that. Right, and Frotch yeah. at times was like looking at the ref like, come on, man, get this yeah. dude oh, off me. Let me tell yeah. you, that guy's not going to step in the middle of anything. No, I mean, he like, just allows the like fight to go on. on. Yeah, exactly. and I like that because I saw – Another, you know, when he fought uh, Arthur Abraham, you know, he kind of tie up and stuff like this and, you know, ref out and stuff. I liked seeing I, – I saw a lot of improvement from Andre Ward. Like I was telling you, he is a very smart fighter. Right. You know, he thinks all the time. He, he dictates – he's got great, you know – Ring well, what was I mean, exciting he, about the fight was they literally, I mean, they stood there and, and fought. I mean, there fought. wasn't a lot of clinching. Yeah. And they were engaging. They were engaging. And there was a know? lot of action. There was. I, I mean, mean, even Frotch had some good yeah, shots, even too. Even yeah. he was losing, I mean, he was still landing punches. And, I mean, he kept, you know, pressing the act. It's not like he shied away from anything. Right. And so it, the next question, what happens is, okay, what become? where does Andre Ward go next? I mean, in my opinion... He proved to the world that he is the best super middleweight out there. I mean, there's two people that are both are undefeated that he can potentially face now, and it's uh, Lucian Butte's 30 and 0 with 24 knockouts. Greatest name in boxing. Right. What does he have a nickname? Uh, like Lucian Butte Wine. That Butte. I don't know. Nice Butte. Um, or his undefeated mandatory <laughs> knockout artist. Anthony Durrell, the younger brother of mm. Andre Durrell. I'd like to see um, like Durrell. And that's 20, who's 24 and 0 with 21 knockouts. Now, the problem is, Anthony Durrell is Andre's uh, younger brother. Many c- people consider Anthony, of the two brothers, the more aggressive one. And it shows by his record. Yeah, has, if you got 21 knockouts out of 24 victories, you're punching some people. You're pretty aggressive. You're trying to get shit um, with that being said, he hasn't faced the opponents that his brother Andre has faced. And he's definitely, you know, Andre, most people think is the more gifted uh, boxer out of the two brothers. Now, we just saw earlier in the year, we saw Andre lose to Carl Frotch, the man that Andre Ward just beat. So, you mm. know... I mean, fights are fights. It's always different when two different guys step in the ring, but... Styles make fights? Styles make fights. You know, you don't know what's going to happen. This guy's a knockout artist. He could catch Andre Ward. But it, for me, I think Andre Ward would, you, would beat Anthony Do you Durrell. think overall, Kevin, that it's just a lack of, of strong competition in this weight class? I just think that it... I mean, I think there's a lot of good fighters. There's a lot of talented fighters. But they're just all good. This. There's nobody that's really there's great. There's all good. I just think there's... Yeah, I think... 
you know, you could start to get Andre Ward to be the great one. I mean, he just in the last two years fought the best in his class. Right. When you're looking at when you're looking at Anthony Durrell and Lucian Booty, they started establishing themselves during the course of this tournament. When those guys years. were off yeah. off limits, they really they couldn't yeah, fight any of those guys. Lucian Boutet is great. He's 30 and 0, but you know what? I, I'm sorry, but he has not really fought anybody. And I know somebody's going to be out there go, oh, yeah. No. Look at his record, his last five fights. They're not really impressive uh, opponents. So I don't think right now there's anybody that's going to be a real formidable. But I think Andre Ward is the best super middleweight out there by right. far. I mean, I think he proved it during this tournament, and I think he's that's why he's got all the belts. You know, um, with that being said, uh uh-uh, uh, no, uh-oh. Jimmy's got him fucked up news article. Oh, oh Jimmy's oh. got a fucked up news well, article. You know, I was just reading around uh, the Penn State trial, and I guess Jerry Sandusky's lawyers were talking about this new hygiene defense where allegedly he was showing these boys how to properly shower because they weren't exactly sure, you know, the ins and outs of showering by the time they were 12 to 14. I mean, I just thought it was basically ridiculous. It's bullshit but, defense. I mean, yeah, you well, see that shit on cartoons. Do you remember the old fat hour? <laughs> yeah. Soap and water well, it, for your daily and, needs. You know, I would think... <laughs> it, it, <laughs> if, if I was in the courtroom and I was the judge hearing that, you know, I would think, for one, are, are these guys, you know, do they think I'm that stupid? And the right. other thing is, is even if I did believe that, that, okay, he was showing them how to shower, where does the bear hugging come in? Yeah, I mean, how do you— What part does, of a shower does that? How does a guy bear hug you and tell you how to shower? George, would you like to elaborate on that? I, I can't. Mm-hmm. I, I, I'm I, glad I can't. You I, can't. I, I, I can't. I, I, yeah. I got nothing. I mean, so to me, the, the quote-unquote hygiene defense is fucked definitely up shit like that. fucked up. It is fucked up. Wow. I'm, I mean, this is what this this is resorting to. This guy's defense is like I was showing the kid how to properly. Would you do that with every child naked in the shower? Right. You know where Where else do you? Teach Why them? can't you just fucking sit there with your clothes on and yell <laughs> right. it out to the kid? Hey, put the fucking soap on the underarms. You know, wash right. your nuts. I mean, it's fucked up. This guy's fucking. You know, Bullshit, nuts. I think Jimmy does his shit because he wants to get me fired up again, man. You know what I mean? He's just fucking Sandusky characters fucked up. And Paterno, no, you know, he's... Well, he's and that's out. the other thing was interesting is, is, oh, the other part of the whole story that I was reading was that when allegedly, you know, McQuarrie did go to Paterno and told him about this, Paterno did not contact the authorities immediately because it was the weekend. It, he didn't want to interrupt their weekend. weekend. It's the weekend. No, we no, got hold shit on, to hold do. on, hold on, hold on. To me, if it was something that was just inappropriate contact, meaning like that, you know, it was an of age person and they were doing something. Okay, that's a little different. It was a crime. Right. A crime took place. Yeah. It's and, like and someone you don't want to bother. Yeah, you don't want to bother over the, the authorities. And the body and you look at the guy bleeding. You're like this. Uh, yeah, I'll, we'll I'll handle this tomorrow. You know what? It's the holiday season. I'll call him in January. Right. <laughs> um, now with George's fucked up news. Yes. In case anyone hasn't heard. X wide receiver for the Chicago Bears, Sam. If you need it, I got it. I'll sell it to you. Heard. Um, What's he got, selling? TV. I heard he got a lot of weed. <laughs> oh, he tried. Turns out that Sam Heard, while in Dallas, um, decided to start a drug operation. Um, and then when he got moved to Chicago unceremoniously and signed a fat contract, he decided he wasn't going to give up his daytime job, and that's selling drugs. Good income he, on he, the side. <laughs> he got arrested. We're planning on buying four to five kilos a week of cocaine. There's a lot of people in Chicago. A week at $25,000 per kilo. Now, for you folks who aren't strong at math, I understand. $25,000 per kilo for four kilos, that's $100,000 a week just in coke. That is $400,000 a month. You're looking at what? Well, that, that's just the value well, he's not, paying yeah. for. Right. That's not what well, he's no, selling. I'm just, no, I'm just talking about face value, what right. he's paying. So you're yeah. looking at what? A little over $4 million he's going to spend? Well, if, if, he's, if, he's, In a year. if he's, if he's, yeah, if he's, yeah, five million, I mean, 400000 a month, I mean, you're, yeah, it's more than that. Right. It's almost $5 million. Yeah. yeah. Right. So you're looking at four. He's, he's looking moving to spend, product. Yeah, yeah. He's looking to buy $4.8 million worth of cocaine in a year. And that's just cocaine. Yeah. Now, along with the four to five kilos a week, he wanted to throw in not one, not two, but a thousand pounds of marijuana. Yeah. A week. That Bama is moving product. Yeah. He's but you gone. know what he's doing now? Nothings. He's out on bond. $100,000. Is he it's playing a this week? No. <laughs> 
I had to take him off my fantasy. No, he wasn't even on my team. Right. What the thing that amazes me is his agent said drug dealer fantasy. We got a new drug dealer fantasy. He, he said fantasy his league. agent went on Twitter and said someone should pick up Sam Hurd. Lance Briggs goes, You have got to be crazy <laughs> as shit. Wow, are you serious? Yeah, that yes. would be a PR nightmare. Somebody picked him up. The feds. <laughs> yeah, they did. They picked him up. Yeah, DEA. Yeah, he's, he's speaking, already been picked up. Okay, playing, tell his agent he's, that. He's playing wide out for that. I don't FBA. know how much the fucking uh, the feds are going to offer him on a fucking trap. I mean, it's on waivers, obviously. Yeah, yeah. whatever. You're, it's a wrap. Now, here's here's what I'm worried about and not really worried about. Mm -hmm. Does anyone remember Bam Morris? Name ring a bell? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bam, Bam, Bam Morris, Morris got hit with charges similar to this without the cocaine. Mm -hmm. Pounds and pounds of marijuana. Yeah, I remember and that. And they said he had a list of people. And he said, mm -mm, I'm going to jail. What if what if they come to Sam Hurd, much like they came to Associate, because they found Sam Hurd's associate driving around town with eighty eight thousand oh, dollars in a bag with le with a leafy green substance oh, yeah, on top. I mean, and when they picked him up, that's who flipped on Hurd. What if Hurd's got this list of players in the NFL, the NBA, and other athletes he'd be selling his drugs to? What if he's like, I'll give that to you if you let me get off? Or cut my time down. Because this man's looking at yeah, this years, is major he, lots of years. Yeah, but the feds don't operate like that. They don't? That's how they got him. Well, they got him. Yeah, what, the what I'm saying, Okay, what if there's other people at his level? Well, that's what they'll try to go after. I mean, they go, they're they going to go from the bottom up. Right. So they're going to use him to eat. The only way, they're going to say, look, where are you getting, who are you working well, with? Well, it's too what? late now. The Bama's in the news. Ain't no one going to do a deal with Sam Hurd right now. But that might matter. He he gets. They're gonna know that he's in the. What they gonna? Well, but they could if they can build a case and say this is where he was getting. Well, from, also, this is who. Also, he's, they're gonna want to see where he's getting that distribution from. Yeah. Where well, he's coming. He from. had to change dealers. That's why he got caught because his current dealer wasn't giving him enough. What I'm what I'm concerned about. Because his current dealer was like, man. Yeah. Because that's dude, a lot of. Product. He says yeah. he's got double digit numbers on players he distributes to, and I'm hoping it's just weed. You know, his old deal was like, damn, yeah. whoo, shoo. I'm glad I let that motherfucker go. Yeah. You by chance have a news story for us, Mr. White? I got, yeah, I'm going to tell you what. I got a news story. Is it about women's MMA? It is. All right, you ready? Uh,